thanks for jumping to the chair, man, and having a little chat. Bro, so this Top Blokes program, yeah. you, did you went through it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. How, how, how was that experience? Um, it was really fun, to yeah. be honest. To be, like, in a group of people who would, like, support me and, like, care about the topics as much as me. That was, like, a big thing. Right? Yeah. Well, how did it all come about? How did you, how did you get involved with the program? So I was, like, selected uh, by our head welfare teacher. We're yeah. like a bu bunch of other students, right? Yeah. And yeah, we got the opportunity to like go and experience the program for ourselves. What was your perspective or what was your feelings of, of getting selected and going into this program? Were you kind of like, oh, I don't know what this is. Is it just another reason to kind of skip class or? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, at the start I was like pretty nervous. I was like new program, new experience, right? Yeah. And like read a little bit about it online. Yeah. Right. I liked some of the stuff I was hearing, liked some of the topics, right? First few weeks, I was like a little shy. Yeah. Saw a couple of the mentors and yeah, enjoyed it. And then you started opening up a little bit. Yeah, 100%. More kind of, yeah, that's awesome, man. What kind of surprised you of it, like once you started doing it? Like, did, like did you go in with a bit of an open mind or were you kind yeah. of like, oh, like I'm looking to get something out of this? Yeah, I was really surprised by like how open the mentors were. I never had that like portal where I could freely express my opinions without being judged by others. And that was like a huge change, especially in school. What do you feel like overall, what did you learn the most out of it? Uh, one of my favorite topics uh, was probably peer pressure. And that was like a really fun topic to get to experience with my friends. Cause like, you know, we'd shoot each other looks. We'd like um, laugh through it. Cause it was really relatable and it was like not as confronting as the other topics, but it like shifted my perspective, I guess. Yeah. And what was the, what was the shift? Like what, what kind of like, did you, did you experience peer pressure? Like I went for, I went from uh, competing with others to competing with myself. And I had like a new sense of motivation, I guess. Yeah, cool. How many, how many of your friends did it? Uh, not a lot of my friends did it. Most of the people were from the, uh, so I'm part of the selected stream. They were all from, from the community stream. Right. So I knew soon. I knew a bunch of them, but Top Blokes allowed me to get closer. To them. Did you um? Sure. Did you make some friends while you're in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I knew all the guys. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So that peer pressure stuff, man, is that quite 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 big in school still? Like people pressuring you to do things that you kind of like, trying to prove yourself to be something or or to show off or. Yeah, I guess, but like now because of Top Blokes, it's like more of a subconscious thought. Yeah. As opposed to being my primary thought. And I like learn to evolve and like adapt to situations so that I do not think of other people as much as I should. Yeah. And I compete with myself. Yeah, that's a, that's a big skill to learn, man. Like to not have to like you know, be dictated by other people's opinions and, and thoughts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially being. You know, young lad like yourself, and you're, you're finding your way through the world. Yeah. Had any thought of like where you want to go, what you want to do yet, or are you just kind of free flowing? Nah, nah. Probably go to uni, yeah. make some friends, no, get a job. Yeah. How do you feel like you know talking about peer pressure? Yeah. Do you feel like there's a certain pressure to you know have a career in life and nah, do nah. certain things? No, no. It's more things? so um. A physical peer pressure, I guess you could say. So like, come to school, look at, look your best every single day, do your best every single day. And yes, it's like positive peer pressure in a way, but at times, it get when it gets like too much, I guess you could say, it gets a little neg negative. Yeah. So the term top look, um, for me, it means to just like be, be your best self, like be comfortable with who you are. And like that kind of leads into the peer pressure topic as well. I guess that kind of links in with being a man, like being comfortable with who you are and having opinions that are justified to your moral morals and values. And yeah, that's re really important for being a top group. Did you, did your perspective change around masculinity after you did the course or did yeah, you have? Yeah, 100%. One what, of the, what was it before? Like, what did you think being a man or the masculinity kind of like energy was? So like, it was more of the bodybuilder wives, um, don't express your thoughts and opinions, that kind of thing. But yeah. like, where do you feel like that kind of stemmed from? Where, where was that influence from? Was it from, you know, people around you? Was it social media? Like what, what played a role in that? I think media was a big thing, right? And then 
media was a big thing because you would always see these um, people on social media get really famous because of these perfect masculinity vibes that they gave and that was like a big influence for not just me but like other people at school as well yeah so yeah you took some inspiration from from those things online and kind of like how did that kind of affect you every day to day like did it kind of like were you putting these expectations on yourself to perform a certain way or to look a certain way too or sometimes i didn't uh, really mind it much yeah but at, po at times yes i was like kind of subject to dress in a way or like look in a way or like style my hair in a way i guess you could yeah. say i didn't take a lot of the negative peer pressure yeah because um top looks really guided me through uh, uh the masculinity topic and the peer pressure topic mm. Mm. what were some key things after you learned you know what top blokes taught you about masculine what were some key things that you took away from it the thought that making others feel good about you and having others have a positive sense of yourself is like a really important thing mm. and trying to be someone else or trying to fit in someone else's shoes will never work out in life and building upon what you have and being comfortable with that is like a big thing that top blokes taught me did you notice uh, after you did the program or as you were going through the program your relationships with certain people kind of like either got better or you uh change your perspective on certain things like when it came to relationships whether it was with your parents or like just friends in general uh i guess because like with my family i wasn't really open to them i was more confined in this little bubble with me and social media and like my friends yeah right but top blokes taught, uh, taught me to like go to the people you trust the most because without them you really don't have a foundation of trust yeah and it was through this um foundation that i was able to navigate myself through all these um key pressure all this all these obstacles and that really helped me uh it helped not just me but also the people around me do you feel like you're on this kind of forever journey now of like just self-improvement with yeah, like yourself 100%. and where you want to be and what you want to do yeah 100 percent. do you have an image for yourself of what kind of man or what kind of person you want to be after this after this program that you've done not at all i i don't think i should strive to be someone else's image i should create an image of myself and not promote but like role model it for other people in a way people look at me and say yes um i want to have his morals yes i want to not take peer pressure from me but also have a good effect How, yeah. on others around me you know what i mean yeah having that healthy encouragement yeah, to yeah. you know speak out when you need to speak out and how do you feel like that importance of speaking out is especially kids your age you know young younger younger adults and stuff like that as they trying to come out and figure themselves out how do you how do you feel like that plays a role in speaking out is like really important in today's society because i think now more than ever men are hiding their emotions and are trying to fit in way too much and this sort of ideology isn't working out for us as we have like as top looks taught us a lot of so uh, really high male suicide rates and these sort of stats were not good to look at and yeah it taught us that yet males should uh, open up and opening up they gave us like resources with which we worked with like the kids helpline the lifeline teachers uh, our parents people we trust so other things that you learn in the courses uh, in the program like identifying you know when someone is struggling what, what are some of those things that you did learn? So we like learn to identify signs that a person was struggling. For example, their facial expressions, the way they interact with others and whether or not that's changed. And these kind of signs helped us notice what struggles these people were going through with mental health. And because Top Looks taught us this, we learned to like really reach out for these people, pull them out of this ditch before they get themselves too far in. And this sort of, um, I guess you could call it portal, like really helped us um, save the, not save, but like be a sort of, um, be some sort of first help for these people mm. and help them get to a better sense of 
a, 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 get into a better environment and like be more be more yeah get into a better environment I guess. yeah in a safer environment right? yeah like, yeah safe environment to to speak out exactly and if you are seeing someone struggle and stuff like that or like you know someone questioning about how they could get better like they want to become healthier whatever it is and you would rec like you would recommend top blokes to them 100 why would you because top blokes is not just um a learning experience but a very interactive environment i guess you you'll never get the sort of interaction that they give you anywhere else it's very direct it's very open it's very encouraging it's very um to the point and it's not all they don't spoon feed you learning they don't spoon feed you these uh learning ideas right they also give their personal experiences and those personal experiences really help us relate more to these circumstances which in the which ultimately helps us understand what the topic's all about and it really helps us know what Toplos is all about because Toplos has its own feel it has its own vibes and those vibes you'll never experience anywhere else